Luke Skywalker losing his hand in the original Star Wars trilogy is one of the most iconic moments in cinema. Don't believe me? Ask around. It has been referenced and parodied countless times. In Return of the Jedi, the lost appendage serves as a constant reminder to Luke that he, like his troubled father, the warlord Darth Vader, is not only part machine, but just as susceptible to the dark side of the Force. When that happened, the good man who was your father was destroyed. Well, in a preview of Star Wars number 43, which bridges the gap between Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi, Luke's missing hand and its significance is explored in more detail. In it, an imprisoned Luke is confronted by a mysterious Sith who points to Luke's missing hand as a source of pain that will always be with him. A pain, incidentally, he can use to quite literally free himself from his cell. This is possibly the first time Luke Skywalker ever used the dark side of the Force, something he famously avoided in the films. The impact of the entry has never been presented as being this significant before, but here it's shown as being the thing that allows an ancient Sith to convince Luke to flirt with the dark side. Luke learned that tapping into this pain was the key to his own salvation, at least from that cell, which is the first step towards total corruption, something any Padawan could tell you. When Luke Skywalker was in the presence of both Darth Vader and the Emperor in Return of the Jedi, he was tempted by Palpatine to give in to his anger and hatred, and use the dark side to strike him down. At first, Luke succumbs to this temptation, striking out Palpatine with his lightsaber. While that was an instance of momentary weakness, the Star Wars issue indicates it wasn't the first time, as he was actually in more danger of falling to Palpatine's corruption than fans originally knew.